Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and it's going to be a bit of a long video, but over the weekend I did travel from Adelaide, South Australia over to Brisbane, Queensland for the big Boulder Fest competition of 2022. Uh, me and my good friend Newey went over, we made some friends at our gym a while back, uh, some nice strong, young, handsome men, and we all went together for this Boulder Fest um, as a sort of little Adelaide contingent and crew, and um, competed in the competition just for the sake of it. This is just some, um, you know, video footage from the plane at 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, before we set, uh, go any further, just set some emote ground rules because you're going to see this throughout the stream. That is the Giga Chad emote, of course. That is Giga Thil, which is like a me version of the Giga Chad uh, using some, I don't know, Instagram pictures or some shit. Uh, we then have, which will be spammed, I suppose, pretty often, Booba, and that is, you know, oh look, any sort of woman. Uh, Dej, that basically represents anytime someone falls, usually just say Dej, Dej. Uh, binoculars, have a look a bit closer through your toilet paper peephole, and then if you need to really zoom in, use the extreme toilet paper action. So with that, um, showed up at the gym and decided to give a test for the live stream. First time I ever tried using Streamlabs or IRL streaming from the phone. Tested out the Wi-Fi at the gym because I know my internet connection off the phone wasn't going to be good enough. And lo and behold, it worked well enough. So that meant that we were in for a five hour stream. There's me, there's my friend Newey, and um, he was going to be the cameraman for the day with the um, IRL stream setup, which is basically just my phone attached to a stick. So, um, hey there, random guy. So it is um, first time I've ever really tried this first IRL stream. Still a bit rough around the edges. First time using Streamlabs. It's got a few, you know, things I would have changed. Like I didn't realize that the sub thing was on there. Uh, this is the t-shirt that you get for signing up so the whole point of this thing and um, competition is a three hour two and a half hour pump fest and um, we're just warming up in the back at the moment but it's a very large gym and it's a two and a half hour pump fest meaning you have about 60 problems in the entire gym and you are supposed to complete and log your hardest eight problems that you can possibly do. Uh, the hardest eight problems out there are going to be the white tags using the white holds and they are extremely hard so like some of them didn't even get finished that kind of hard. Uh, and then it goes down to black tags, red tags, and then below that we didn't really focus on those because we are mostly trying to do the black tags and some of the red tags. Uh, and then it just counts your eight highest or hardest problems. This at the moment is just me warming up on the wall. You get there about 30 minutes to an hour before just to start warming up because once the competition starts, it gets going and you um, don't really want to waste time warming up during that time. This is me just doing a bit of stretching as well, so I usually stretch my legs out to get a bit of flexibility happening. Um, this is one of the crew that we're with, Ryan. He is the strongest of the lot, and um, he did pretty well in the end. Came, I think, 15th or something out of like 150. The top 10 are very strong boys, and uh, several levels ahead of where I'm at, even though I do consider myself pretty seasoned at this point and fairly strong, I am still not even close to someone like Ryan or even further the top 10 and all of that. So then we go a little bit more warm up. Um, saw Zizaran join the channel and you know started hanging out, but I really couldn't see much of chat throughout all of this, um, as especially I was uh, on the wall trying to you know do my best for the comp but the chat was a bit delayed throughout the stream and as well as that the chat um, that was on the stream uh, you, you know it's a bit compressed and hard to see but uh, the chat for the actual IRL stream that we were using on the phone was a bit delayed and you know we had a few hiccups on our connection so it was a bit tough to answer things. Uh, that's my brother he's a couple years older than me and uh, doing the same comp same time as me there are three categories uh, just before that, we got Kim here. He's one of our friends as well. Probably the second strongest of our group. And um, did yeah a bit worse than he should have. Knew he ended up beating him by one spot. And um, unfortunately for our friend Newey, Kim is way stronger. So it went very well for Newey in the end. He um, did, uh, you know, 
about as good as he possibly could have. Um, but on average, our friend Kim there is the strongest, second strongest of our group. Uh, so then just doing a bit more warming up. So as I was saying, there was um, there are three uh, sessions to go in. You can choose the early morning session, like 6 a.m. This one here is the 10 a.m. session, so we're warming up for that one. The previous session is still going, and then after us will be the, like, I don't know, 1 p.m. session, something like that. We're all doing the same shit. It's just separating the people by categories, by, you know, different times, so that the gym isn't extremely packed all at once because there are something like 150 competitors in the open category and uh, as you can see this is the size of the gym roughly um, it goes all the way around each of these walls it's a pretty big gym it's one of the newer ones in Brisbane at uh, Urban Climb um, so there's about 60 problems across the walls and this is the previous category and groups still going um, and finishing off their session while we're just about to get started, still warming up and then just have a look at, you know, we're walking around having a look at a few people trying some of the problems. This is one of the harder problems of the set and um, rightfully so, your friend here is struggling a bit and um, I'll get on that one just a little bit later and prove exactly how hard it is with just as much struggle. So um, the idea is that you will start with two hands where the markers indicate for you to start and then you have to go through the um, color of that climb. So if it's a black tag, basically all the holds are gonna be black or you can use some of the volumes. So those big purple volumes are universal. Anyone can use those. And then you go to the highest hold that um, that color has and you have to put two hands on that hold and show control. This is a self-scoring system. So, you know, it's a bit of an honor system, but in general, climbers aren't too much scum when it comes to this sort of thing. And you don't really gain anything by cheating or, you know, scoring yourself higher than you otherwise would because, well, only the top six make the finals and the top six are pretty damn good and if you cheat your way there you're gonna get extremely embarrassed and exposed other than that points don't mean for anything um, so this was one of the climbs just before we started our session um, this was the actual winner of the eventual women's final Lucy Sterling she's probably one of Australia's strongest climbers and uh, that was a very funky climb that I didn't actually try because um, I don't think I would have had a chance of like jumping across that way. I don't think she sent it on this one, this attempt, but uh, you can see what type of a problem that is. She did, she did end up winning, um, topped all the final problems. This is our little crew. Uh, you got me, Ryan, Kim, and Kim's brother, Hui, and um, we all climbed at the same time. They're a bit younger than me, but um, we're all, you know, pretty similar strength levels except Ryan and Kim are a little bit ahead of the rest of us. Uh, and then we'll see some of their climbs throughout the stream and the session. Session went for two and a half hours, uh, so we did get plenty of footage of everyone, um, with Nui just following me around and occasionally taking a little break here or there. This is the briefing just before you'd start your climbing. They sit you down and let you all know the rules and any specific shit you got to follow, but it's all very basic stuff, you know, score yourself and start two hands on and controlled start, controlled finish, uh, wait your turn to climb because there will be lineups and you have one attempt each time. So you can have as many attempts as you want at a particular problem. If you want, you can spend two and a half hours trying one problem, but you kind of have to have a more balanced approach because you need to finish eight problems in the end. And um, yeah. So this is once again just us warming up at the back. These are called campus rungs. They're just really sort of thin semi door frame like um, holds and they're just good for warming your fingers up because um, it should be a pretty controlled environment. Uh, then they had some really big jug type holds that I thought might be fun to just fuck around on because um, once again, a bit of a warm up, just uh, pretty close to just doing some pull ups off of those, you know. Uh, and then I challenged our little cameraman, Nui, to do the same, who hasn't yet warmed up. I'm like, hey, try that out. And uh, he needed to chalk up a bit, but then beasted his way through it as well. It's pretty simple stuff, um, but it was a little bit of fun just to, uh, you know, feel good and feel strong on those juggy holds. Uh, not much else to say there. We're just about ready to go and um, watch Kim have a warm-up. 
as I walked over and mentioned he was probably one of our only real chances of making the final for South Australia um, although he probably underperformed a bit for what he should have done and Ryan was kind of close to making finals let's just say something like 15th you know isn't too far off of the top six but it is um, quite a gap still uh, we then have the start of the competition and that's my brother getting on one of the easier climbs so an orange tag is I don't know second or third easiest something like that uh, just some pretty big juggy holds big overhang roof and he's just still warming up so it's a good idea to kind of get on a few easier climbs to begin with that you know you can do and um, are a bit within yourself still be warming up and also get a few points on the board they're not going to be worth that much because the climbs are scored from like 1 to 60 and um, I jumped on what I thought was a going to be worth a bit of points but pretty easy for me a red tag so let's say this thing is worth about 40 points and the highest climb is going to be worth about 60 most of the black tags are around in the 50 category and then the hardest hardest climbs are like 55 to 65 something like that like that white tag to the right so it was a pretty easy send then jumped on this um, red tag over here which starts out with a double compression just bad foot start you got to jump in and catch a really sort of deep hold um, I think I got it on my second go because I did fall and miss the good part of it you then got to do a bit of um, chimneying your way up a section and press into a pretty bad hold and I almost fell on that one but got it in the end anyway so that was um, two quick red tags just for some extra points to start with uh, it's another one of our friends Min and then a couple of the other Adelaide crew that came down and we moved on to the black tag now this was the first black tag I tried I saw a couple of people fail at it I think and then I was just trying to suss out the beta and the beta meaning kind of like the method the route for it and it started off those two cramps and then just goes on to these sort of they're grippy but still kind of slopeyish holds I don't know how to describe them um, and it's supposed to by design be a mantle and a mantle means kind of like coming over a problem like mantling a rock you know and it it's pretty physical stuff but I managed to figure out the sequence into the next couple of really small shallow crimp things I don't even know how to describe them it was basically a, a thin rubber piece that had no grip on it except for the underside where you could jam a bit of your thumb under and then manage to get the match so I got a flash on that black tag and that um, was rather satisfying to not have to try it again because it was an energy burner and I did see several people, you know, burn their energy through that thing, like our friend Nui. Uh, I think we then watched Anna Davy do it, so she's one of the stronger women that showed up and has a pretty big Instagram presence, I think. Uh, and just for, you know, a bit of a comparison, you can see how she did it. I think she came fourth in the women's final, so she qualified, which is pretty hard to do, and then came fourth, which was rather impressive with a couple of the climbs she did. Um, overall pretty good climb I think maybe a bit better than me in some cases maybe a bit worse than some other but probably overall a little bit better just depending on um, the types of climbs out there but she's been climbing for I think around the same time as I have I've seen her at plenty of competitions by now and uh, yep brother gave that nod of approval we then um, went and did or tried this black tag which starts out with a stand and a toe hook pop so it's a bit of a coordination problem I fucked it up a few times and uh, didn't quite land the coordination we then watched Ryan do it who was our strongest guy and he made it look pretty easy at least that starting stand up so we all failed it a few times we we're like what the fuck's going on and then he kicks into it and just goes pop and we're like, fuck, that's easy, okay. But after that, it was really hard, so that right footer that he's standing on is just trash. It's really hard to put any pressure on, and the wall is completely flat, so there's no, like, chance of leaning into the wall. Uh, I did see a few people send this problem in the end. I was definitely not one of those, because I didn't really feel like I could trust that right foot, but I came back um, as my next attempt and did at least get the stand-up. Absolutely could never feel like I could trust this foot, 
but in theory you're supposed to like kind of match your feet and slowly come across and then um, grab that next big right hold and still be a bit slowly treacherously going for it. This here is one of the hardest problems in the gym, a white tag. Um, I'm not sure I saw anyone actually finish it, but I think someone did. Uh, so you're supposed to start with two hands on that left piece, but with a toe hook to the um, right. And this is where I ended up hurting my shin uh, that I posted on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Actually, maybe not on Instagram. But uh, yeah, I ended up just like sliding off that extremely bad sideways slopey footer grazing my shin and uh, man did it swell up later it was a bad one but um yeah it was it was a fairly straightforward problem in the end it's just beyond me and then i was scared to get back on it it's got a slightly better attempt than me but still nothing um knew we then found one of the dogs that someone brought there like a six month old pop australian shepherd i think uh, then moved on to try something else and in this case it was let's see another black tag which was very slopey very strong and I couldn't do shit on it but I figured it was worth a shot um, it, it was worth a lot of points this guy here is extremely strong as well was doing a lot of the same problems as us and I think I saw him send a couple of things that I couldn't but once again just blew off of that so you start two hands on the um, one on the volume, one on the lower piece, and then you're just supposed to slap the shit volume, and it was a skin burner for sure. So it wasn't a very smart thing to attempt, I suppose, in the end, because it, it grazed some of my skin. You can see a better angle of this. Like, it didn't look like, personally, for me, I could grab this thing, but I saw someone else grab it, and I'm like, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. And I could stick that, but then the next move's even harder and even more skin intensive. So, moved on from that one and then um, found that previous climb that we saw at the start of the stream. And this one's another doozy. So, they're pretty straightforward moves, like in the end, but it's long, it's skin taxing, and it's confusing when you're under there. So, once we figured out the beta, once we figured out the moves, it did make sense. And, um, you know, you could try and replicate what other people did, but it was a fairly tiring climb and it was also fairly skin intensive. So he did pretty well like to get this far and it looked like he was gonna send and he was just crushing his way along. Um, but this is the part where it gets really hard and kind of confusing for your body because there's almost nothing holding you on there. That left little divot for the crack, it's pretty like bad and starting to do some damage to the skin so I went in afterwards uh, similar sort of beta thought yep what he did could work for me um, but I didn't actually really believe that I'd get it first try because um, it is a bit confusing once you're under there it's very confusing and and those um, volume slopers that I'm on right now they're not very good <laughs> until you actually make them good and use them in the right way so I was barely hanging on that and I was taking some skin off too um, but I started to figure it out and move through the problem. This next hold and this next move was a bit of a reach for me as I'm not the tallest unit out there. Managed to just barely stick it though um, and move through. I didn't feel good on this at all. The toe hook was terrible and then I moved out and fell off. And pause champ is like a pausing emote as well. Someone looking like, you know, they're um, waiting to see what's happening. That's something like that. And then watch Kim do one of the black tags that um, was probably a bit easier than the rest of the black tags, worth like 50 points or, though, or so, so it's pretty good to do. Uh, he made it look fairly easy, I think it was a flash for him, uh, and a flash meaning first try. Um, so we watched him climb it and thought, yep, that should be my next um, attempt. So it took a couple minutes, um, and I'd already like wasted a bit of skin on a few problems so I was starting to get a bit tired starting to lose a bit of skin but still we we're only like an hour into the comp so did the same um, problem with pretty similar beta in the end I think um, pretty similar route uh, I think I made it look a little bit harder because the, the holds felt a bit worse to me than he made them look uh, but this next hold coming up off of the cramp was the worst of the climb 
it's a big sort of slopey pinch and you got to make it work well once i got the heel up that's when you could almost fall off of it because it's like i said kind of slopey and then you have to trust into popping into this next hold because it's got a good groove to it it's a good crimp but if you don't hit it well you just fall straight out so i managed to flash that one as well meaning um first tried a couple of black tags at this point i was feeling not too bad but i'd already wasted a lot of energy on some stuff that i didn't manage to get so um we then watched kim do the problem that i failed at he started it a bit different so no sort of 360 bullshit instead just campus and campus means using no legs just hanging off with your arms um campus the start into the problems and he made this just look like a fucking joke it was honestly disgusting and how dare he but it is what it is is a unit so had a good toe hook on that went really high and then um, palm pressed into sort of a little mantle off of the left foot and just clean matched. I never actually quite got into that beta myself. I'm not sure why. Uh, I just don't think the toe hook ever felt as good. Um, but that was a very legit set. So I then went, for, went in for the speed run, tried to do the similar sort of starting beta and uh, just get through it a bit quicker. And I did come close, but I didn't fully remember what he did. And I I think I never felt good on that toe hook like I said, so I ended up doing something a bit different, pumping myself out and falling, but got a bit further than last time off of the um, sort of crack. The toe hook was okay, but um, from there I really felt like I needed the heel, went for the heel, the heel was too bad, the right hand was too bad, started pressing but obviously nothing was happening, uh, and then tried to wedge myself into the crack a bit more and uh, then just gassed out and wasn't getting enough grip, fell off, ditch. Unfortunate, and uh, I ended up trying that problem like 10 fucking times, so it honestly burnt way more energy than it should have, but I felt like I was getting close and wanted to finish it. This one was a bit of a dynamic pop and catch. I never got it, tried it a bunch of times. Doesn't waste much energy, but you can see that's the entire move set. Just pop into that, catch it, and then after that, it's not too bad. But I never got it, tried it maybe 10 times. Um, this here was one of the harder or highest point scaling uh, climbs number 10, and that is um, worth, I don't know, like 55 points or some shit. And it's just really tiny feet and then a bit of a like slab compression thing. This chick that was um, working it just before I was uh, got really close and you can see kind of how the bait is supposed to go and it indicates you need to be pretty flexible, pretty strong. I never actually got that far, um, but I just couldn't feel like I could trust those feet for some reason. So had another go afterwards, got a little bit further, but those feet are so tiny and I was so just sketchy on them that couldn't really move across. Uh, though I would have loved to have tried that more flexible move afterwards. Then moved on to another black tag and this one's just a piece of shit slab, no one likes slab, whatever. And you just start with a compress up into that hold and then move across slowly. That was basically all there was to it. I then show the stream just how bad those feet are. They're volumes that you're supposed to stand on that are just begging for you to fall off of. And uh, yeah, I only gave it like one shot. Really not worth going more in. Uh, the next black tag I tried was this one, which is really hard and physical. And that's where I did all of my forearm grazing damage because these volumes are textured. You know, they're kind of like sandpapery and uh, I was just gripping onto them for dear fucking life. I saw a few people fail, like, just the start, so they couldn't get any further. Um, so I had to basically create my own, you know, route through it, my own beta, and I was getting a lot further than everyone else I saw, so I was committed to trying to make it work as much as possible, and I could get around this far, and then this was where it started to get really tough, because... Um, yeah, we're just slipping off and it's a very high heel. I came in with another attempt a bit later, um, just a couple minutes later. Uh, once again, starting to really lose some skin on the fingertips and the forearms on this one. Um, but I thought I could get a bit further, so I grabbed that left shitty sloper. Got a high heel this time, um, even though it's a very, very uncomfortable position to heel. Had to just trust it hard, move into the next hold. And then that next hold is just a flat pancake of nothing. 
and I couldn't end up gripping it. I did see a couple people, a couple of the strongest bros finish it, but yeah, unrealistic for me that time. This was then one of the hardest, I think second hardest white tag in the gym. I thought I'd just try it for the sake of the stream and stuff. I, from what I've heard, no one actually sent this one in the end, no one finished it. Um, it was just not worth the points and maybe too hard. So it just starts off on a campus crimp uh, onto a big sloper hold. So I show off how bad it is. Uh, the move was just too big. And then the next hold, I was never realistically going to grip. It's so bad. Um, but I thought I'd try anyway. Didn't hurt too much. It was just um, unrealistic, basically. Uh, then show off a bit of the gym, you know, still having a bit of a break and all that. Walk over, there's Newey, he just registered for his session, which was next, and then watched um, my brother try this black tag. So those are very uh, smooth, slippery, dual texture uh, footholds. They're just plastic, smooth plastic, you gotta really trust them, and it's a dynamic start, pop and catch. And the crimps for the starting holds are blocked off, so it's gotta be precise. And then this last hold is basically the crux of the problem, because it's a bad, slopey hold that you have to swap your feet onto, and he ended up finishing it, we didn't get it on camera, but um, I didn't end up finishing it, so I tried jumping into that a bunch of times, it took me like 10 goes to finally stick, stuck it once, got to the end, and then thought, I don't think I can do this, because um, I was starting to get pretty damn tired, and after just trying this last sequence um, and falling off, I ended up moving on. I think it skips through here because there was some lag or some shit, but I fall at this point, and uh, yeah, that didn't count for a cent. It was around this time that I started to realize I'm getting really fucking tired and I haven't come close to finishing eight climbs yet. I think I finished like four or five, so I needed to do a few red tags to pad out the board. Uh, this one looked very realistic. It was just, you know, a bit strong, but fairly reliable and safe. So I just came in and quickly tried to do this one, even though I was getting pretty tired. Uh, the holds are fairly good and the moves are you know, nothing too surprising. So a couple of good dishes, a couple of good crimps and just strong moves and uh, moved through it pretty quick and pretty pleased with that send because uh, it was worth a decent amount of points even though, you know, it's well within myself. Uh, then moved on to the next red tag. This one was actually the hardest red tag and it was worth the most points. I didn't realize that until a bit later and then was trying it out and it was fucking hard. So. This is the start that I was going with. You had to like kind of press yourself into this upside down semi slope of volume. And that entire purple hold is just all bad. And I was getting a bit confused and just stuck. Like it was pretty physical and I was taking some skin off. Um, but, you know, I felt like I was doing okay and then just bailed off of it. Uh, came back a bit later, like 20 minutes later, and had a different beta approach, which was just a heel hook into a sort of swing press, and then stand up off of that hold, and it took maybe another five goes or so to get to this stage where I was starting to make progress, uh, and then realized that this was the next sequence where you had to get a really high foot, slap into the sloper, which was just garbage, and turns out the finish is actually really fucking hard. It's an upside down, smoothed over crimp. You gotta double match that and it's gotta be super balancy or something like that. I didn't see anyone finish it and I was like, nope, can't do that, rip. It's unfortunate, but uh, we then moved on to another dynamic red tag. So this one was worth maybe mid tier red points, like 40 or something like that. And you're supposed to pop over, hit the jug the right hand jug and press against the sloper with your left hand for a sort of little human flag style um, catch. I tried it a few times, failed a few times. We then looked over and saw someone getting through that third highest point white um, and uh, yeah, stopped, watched. It's pretty impressive. Just a bunch of compression, just a bunch of um, treacherous slow movements and he did just double match, flex his way through, and he's one of the stronger boys in the comp. So then tried it once again, um, which, you know, felt doable, so had to for sure stick this one. Got it, finally, double catch. Uh, then the last move is pretty fucking far away, so I had to figure out how to grab this hold reliably, uh, pinch the top right hand sort of side of that hold, and then just static 
into the crimp that is blocked off. So it's pretty, um, pretty decent climb, but you know a bit low percentage. Uh, we then have this easy red that once again just needed points for because I hadn't finished that many enough climbs. Need to finish eight. Um, this one should be really easy for me at the start of the session, but I was starting to get super tired. We're like two hours and 15 minutes in, and uh, I struggled my way through it. It was still a first try, and at this point, I'm just placing the camera on the ground because um, Nui needed to go register and start warming up for his session. So you can't quite see the top, but topped out, matched it, and uh, it was worth okay points. I was then trying to do one more red for points and uh, came across this one, and it's just, you need the right beta for it, you need the right sequence, because it's a fucking confusing, dumb climb. Um, I tried it once, didn't get the right beta, tied myself out a bit, and then had to move on, but I did see the way to do it afterwards, and yeah, it, it shouldn't be too bad. Basically, you need to start just positioned a bit differently, so you don't have to wedge yourself the way I did. But um, that was my attempt, huge amounts of wedge, huge amounts of fail, and then moved on. Uh, I then had enough time to just try one more red. This one was actually worth the second highest points, I think. Uh, I think it's something very well within myself if I was fresh, had plenty of energy, but this was the point at which I was just fucking dying. I'd hardly had anything to drink, uh, eat, and two and a half hours in and I was exhausted. So didn't end up sending it and that meant that I did not finish enough climbs. Um, I got seven climbs and I needed to do eight. It doesn't really matter because, you know, it's just for random nothing points. Uh, so I didn't even end up logging my climbs. If I finished one more the way I should have, I probably would have come like 50th, something like that, which wouldn't have been anything too special, but, you know, good enough for just showing up and trying it out. So. That was just the end of the session for me. I sat down, just talking to chat for a bit, and then moved on for some novelty events. They had one novelty event, uh, and that was to try and start in this chair and then climb all the way around it, however you see fit, and start again, you know, get back to where you started. It ended up proving to be a very hard challenge. Um, the idea was that if you did that, you'd get to, like, get a free pair of shoes um, for climbing, um, and that was kind of the whole sales pitch. Turns out it was just to like win the, enter the draw to win the shoes or some shit. I don't know, something like that. Either way, it's just a fun challenge to do. Um, basically it was way harder than I thought it would be. Um, because the chair, it's not, you know, it's very lightweight. It's not bolted down by anything. And you're not allowed to touch the ground basically is the parameter. And you have to start from one end and, um, make it all the way around the other. It's not bolted down, and that means that once you start getting back around the other side, you are coming into extreme risk of just tipping over, basically no matter what you do. You have to redistribute your, your weight and just tense everything and do front levers for days. So here's the audio and just my best attempt maybe, so I ended up trying it like 10 times or something, but here we are. This is what, how it's done. It's going for it. Also, it's been 15 minutes, maybe you've already finished all the problems that you want to do and you're looking for something else to try. Why not try the Pitora Chair Challenge? We've got a competitor on there right now. They're trying to climb through the legs of a chair, doing exceptionally well with some core strength, heel hooking on the chair legs, squeezing everything Squeeze. at the same time to try and balance Jeez, past the back of the chair. Oh. An incredible heel hook. The balance is still remaining and they could take home a pair of shoes, but if they don't, you want to come on down here and try it for yourself. You can win the shoes. No! And yes, they did win the shoes. The shoes are still up for grabs. One pair of Butora shoes. The Butora store. Come on down to Butora. So yeah, it was a pretty rough challenge. Like by that point, I think two people had done it for the entire couple of days and uh, in the end Kim, our friend, ended up sticking it, uh, finishing it um, and then a few other people did it by the end of the competition as well. I was just dead, so no more for me. We then went on to Nui's climbs and uh, basically I followed him around with the camera for a couple hours and 
um, just you know tried to give as much uh, advice and beta reading from what I did as I could, as well as also you know looking at other people do some hard sends. So that was him flashing, actually doing that black tag on his second go, um, did it pretty well. Uh, we then have after that, what do we have? This was um, the top qualifying girl. Um, Oceania, I think is her name, and did a, this is a send on one of the hardest black tags um, that was available. I didn't even try this one, I didn't think I'd be able to stick the dynamic move, and uh, the last um, finish hold is like this upside down sort of sloper thing that you got to compress into. So I saw a, a couple of people finish this one in the end, and this was one of them, and she's extremely strong, ended up, um, yeah, qualifying on top, and then making it like third or fourth in the final because she did a bit of a shoulder um, injury so she had to stop climbing. Uh, we then watched a um, couple of attempts on this one of the hardest white tags so um, this is one of the beastly dudes that someone in chat dubbed Aussie Jesus. Uh, he did end up making the final as well and it's a pretty tough looking climb like those are just slopey dish inlaid holds that I couldn't dream of fucking hanging off but he was just cruising through them and a big dynamic move to start and then he fell off right here so I watched a few people fall off at that same exact spot um, but I did see a couple of people send it in the end as well uh, he ended up coming like fourth in the finals something like that so he did pretty well uh, so this is another attempt another good angle for it you can see it's a dynamic one two start and those are pretty bad holds to be gripping, so it's not for the faint of heart. And then the last um, big dish above him, that's where a lot of people were falling. That one is really bad. It's just like slightly sloped over and it's just hor like horrible. But um, yeah, also did pretty well and then fell. That guy also made the finals, but unfortunately also injured himself at the start which is uh, pretty rare for anyone to ever do that. And we had two injuries in the finals um, this time around. We then saw Nui do this climb. Um, it's the one I did as a double catch. He did it as a single catch instead. So did it just a bit differently. Uh, and then came over and found the doggo, gave him a pat. Yeah, doggo appreciated that, I suppose, until dog told me it was time to stop, which was kind of funny. Uh, at least I wasn't sure if that was the dog telling me it's time to stop because I think he's just throwing around, you know, handshakes. But I was like, okay, I'll stop, sorry. And uh, then just checked out the other dog who's living in his, his or her little cage. Uh, it's a very young puppy and, you know, just having a sleep. Uh, but yeah, adorable dog too. So people bring their dogs down to climbing gyms all the time because um, it's pretty friendly for that sort of environment. Uh, then found, just walked past this guy who saw, who had the absolute biggest mullet I'd seen, maybe ever, uh, but definitely at the competition. Thought I'd, you know, share that with chat. Massive mullet, absolute unit. They are apparently back in fashion these days. Uh, then saw a long, long man. So he was a really tall dude. I don't know what he is, maybe like 190, something like that, centimeters. And uh, just came upon him starting and finishing this um, third hardest white tag that we saw earlier. Uh, did see a couple of sends, him and the other guy. Um, and I think maybe some other people did as well. But yeah, he just cruised through it. I think it does pay to be a bit taller on this one uh, since it'll help you stretch out between the holds. But either way, he was a very strong dude and saw him send plenty of hard stuff. Uh, don't think he made the finals though. Uh, we then watched just came across uh, right at the end of the competition just watching um, one of the strong girls uh, do this mantle problem just showing chat how ripped some people can be absolute shred and back muscles and all of that and you know who doesn't appreciate a good physique uh, so we're right at the end of the competition at this point and you is just trying to finish off an extra problem or two and uh, that's him over to the left and he got a little bit further on that problem than I did. Um, he did end up sending it later because he still had some time left. Uh, I think, yeah, I should have been able to do this problem. Pr 
pretty comfortably if I was fresh, but I came at it when I was completely dead. Pretty good problem though, otherwise, um, yeah, not much else to say there. And that's the end of the competition. I then clocked off because uh, I was just exhausted and couldn't do the camera anymore and there wasn't much else to see. I then posted a couple of climbs on Instagram. So we went to Nine Degrees, another gym in Brisbane um, the next day. So, you know, I'm with a young crew and these guys just wanted to fucking climb all three days even though I typically would have at least one day off. So we did that went to this gym. This was one of the hardest problems at that gym. I didn't quite send it, but it's probably the most worthwhile thing to film and show off. It had a massive splits and some real slopey holds. Um, none of us ended up sending this, but I got as far as uh, anyone did. And it was a tough problem, but it was worth showing off. And by this point, yeah, I'm super exhausted. My skin is really rough. I had to actually tape up my fingertips because uh, I don't usually climb off of skin that low and that damaged. But, you know, I'm with the whole crew and we're all having fun, having a good climb. We then came back the next day for the um, finals problems and more attempts at the rest of the gym. You know, some of the white tags and stuff that you may not have tried during the competition because everything was still up. And this was one of the other hard white tags that I almost managed to send. Um, just a complete flat slabby sort of thing with really small crimps and really tense moves. That's as far as I got and then fell. Um, then just did a quick film of Ryan doing it as well just so you could see him go a little bit further and see the absolute shred on the man. And that's it for the video. So it's pretty long but you know had to catalog the entire weekend so hope you guys enjoyed um, Boulder Fest 2022. I'll try and do more IRL stuff as I can, uh, you know, pending actually doing stuff. But hopefully there'll be a bit more in the future on the channel because I do think it's pretty worth going out there grabbing a camera and showing you what climbing and that sort of stuff is all about. But thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time.